Hi, this lecture is about analytical writing assessment. Specifically, it explains how the test is scored. So, on the analytical writing assessment, all test takers are required to write two essays. The first essay is called Analyze an Issue and you have 30 minutes to complete it. You have provided an issue of general interest such as democracy, censorship or human rights. You have to take a position in favor of the issue or against it. You have to construct an argument for why you have taken that position and you have to provide supporting evidence. The second task is called analyze an argument. You have 30 minutes to complete it. You provide it with an argument and you have to evaluate that arguments, claims and evidences. How this section is scored? So your essays are scored on a range of 0 to 6. So a 6 score means that your essays are outstanding, means your essays were persuasive, well articulated and in general of superior quality. A 5 score means that your essays were strong, meaning that the content was generally thoughtful and it conveyed the meaning clearly. A score of 4 is adequate, meaning there was clarity of position that you took and you had a good control of language. A score of 3 means that your specific tasks understanding was limited. The reasons that you provided were weak. There were problems in the language and sentence structure and there were some occasional major or frequent minor errors in spelling and grammar. A score of 2 means that your essays were seriously flawed, meaning they were unclear about specific tasks. The reasons and examples were limited. There was some serious problems in the language and serious grammatical errors. A score of 1 means your essay is extremely deficient, meaning there was almost no evidence of understanding the issue. There was a lack of ability to develop an organized response. There were severe problems in the sentence structure and grammar. Finally, a score of 0 means that your response to the essay was off topic. So your score will vary between 0 and 6 with an increment value of 0 0.5 which means that your score might be 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. So this is how your score may look like with an increment value of 0.5. So while writing this essays, try to understand the issue or the argument very carefully. Make sure that in the argument, you don't take a specific position, rather you evaluate the consistency of the argument. Whereas on the issue, be very clear about taking a specific position and then providing proper evidences with proper language. To support your position. We will be talking about both the essays in the future videos. How your scores are reported? So in my previous video, I talked about how the percentile ranks are divided on the verbal and quantitative sections. So let's talk about analytical writing section in this video. So, 
this is how your percentile ranks are distributed. If you remember, I explained the meaning of percentile ranking. Whatever number you have here, this means that this many people score below this scaled score. So if you get a score of 5.5, which is very good, that means that 95% of the people have scores below 5.5. In other words, your score is in the top 2% of the test takers. If you've scored a 4.5, which means you got a percentile rank of 80. So that would mean that 80% of the people score below the scaled score of 4.5 or in other words, your score is in the top 20%. This means that your score is in the top 20% of the test takers. So this is how your scores are reported. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future videos.